Nice. <laughs> hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. Boy, the leaves are half falling off the trees. It's already deep fall, guys. It's like uh, leading into the second week of November, and I had to break out a drop shot here on my local lake, and it's a pretty decent little fish, nothing crazy, but you guys want to see how crazy finessey I had to get with this little guy. Wait till you see this. Take a look right there. A tiny, itty bitty little nose hook job on a number four mustad drop shot hook this thing is absolutely itty bitty tiny take a look at that thing and that's a hog shad i mean the most finessey little uh most finessey little minnow style drop shot weight bait you can get and there's a little fish to start the day so i'm excited about that because it's been a little tough i've been throwing some moving baits drop i've been throwing the square bill i've been throwing the uh the finch nasty's nasty thumper uh vibrating jig that i love so much out here nothing so i'm sticking with some legit full-blown finesse fishing deal maybe a little finesse swim bait but drop shots the name of the game today for me guys just with that one fish i got two hours to fish let's see if we can catch some more i've got about 55 degree air temperature and 58 degree water temperature so fall fishing is in full swing right now guys let's just see if we can catch some more oh there's number two sweet okay go oh my god guys look how tiny that's what you get for going finesse i got a dink of all dinks look at that little guy so yeah that's uh only two actually actually the second that's the next cast i actually got him right on this fallen log right here in the water so yeah he's a dink he's nothing right home about but i'll show you every fish i catch this is uh it's still fishing guys it's not catching all the time so if we happen to catch one it's just an added bonus so let's put it back in there see if there's a big one <laughs> Let's see how big this one is. Oh, another baby. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I see him down there. There's a bunch of fish. You know, we, we just caught one that's a lot bigger than these last two. So we know there's some bigger ones down there. So I'm just going to stick at it just because I see fish. I've, I've scoped this scene out, like I said, for about an hour. And I haven't found much when it comes to fish on the depth finder. But I see him down there. So I'm going to keep at it until I pop another big one. If they all uh, end up like that, I might make a move. But let's just stick at it for just a minute more and see what happens. oh guys let's see what's going on here yep see i had to confirm i had to confirm what was going on underneath this tree i thought i might have had a big old school of crappie underneath this tree but it turns out check it out guys again ultra finesse a little eighth ounce little chrome's cast master got myself another little dink so there's a bunch of little bass down there so i'm going to basically bail on this spot that's three ultra dinks and a pretty decent little bass on a drop shot so that little guy right there that's my crappie killer if i come out here and it gets a little boring because bass fishing's a little slow i got two pound test fluorocarbon on an ultra ultra light that is nothing but fine fine finesse fishing right there if you need to catch something and this little cast master will catch everything including a little dink bass so i'm going to keep this close to my heart if i end up seeing a spot where i see some schools of what i think are crappie i'll drop straight down to them otherwise i'm going to move on and see if i can find a bigger bass so hang tight yeah you filming a video yeah i'm filming a video i just caught a 10 pounder dude no, you didn't. no i didn't <laughs> it was like a dream i had last night you. say your name again dakota dakota i can't remember i'll forget i won't forget that dude nice to meet you well, now you have. You might have to take a picture. No, you go ahead, dude. I remember, I'm just like you, dude. There's nothing about me that's any different than anybody else. Hey, Cornell, YouTube fishing vid. What's up, guys? I'm I'm pulling the pelican over to say hi to Dakota in person. Oh, I think I think I can make it too for a handshake. Nice to meet you, buddy. You too, dude. You got any luck today? I caught four and four? three little tiny ones, man. I mean, got one little right here off this point, yeah. just playing with my famous drop shot. It's it's really rough right now. The water temperature is like 58, and they're just not they're just not there yet when it comes to getting acclimated to what's happening and they're transitioning bad so i'm gonna hit this pocket right here throw some moving baits and then try and find some drop-offs which is where these were i'm actually heading off to go fishing too my friend in a nice little honey hole pond we Sweet. Got going on go get it man yeah i got a trolling motor today and a john boat yeah okay yeah you got limited hours man it's, yeah. the days are so short i was I barely had enough time to get out here so i'm four hours is about all i got to fish i got here about one o'clock yeah, it's cool well, go get them dude thanks dude it's nice meeting you nice to meet awesome. you too dude you i'm glad you pulled over they made my day i'm glad i can meet you yeah. all right stay in touch and say hi over on the on the uh, actual site just send me a little message or a hello on one of the comments all right all right thank you cool buddy thank say you. hi to your buddy for me all right. see you all right guys so that was dakota dakota pulled over and came down the little uh jetty wall here right at the bridge decided to say hi dakota nice to meet you appreciate you pulling over and introducing yourself so let's get back to doing some fishing dakota's on his way to do a little fishing he says he's got a little honey hole somewhere he's going to be fishing for a couple hours and guys the sun is dipping so both dakota and i have limited time so let's see if we can get out here and hopefully have a good day for the rest of the day mm, mm, mm. 
Oh well, guys, we're not just catching dink bass, but I'm catching dink yellow perch. Look at that little beauty. I switched over to a little uh, tiny drop shot bait. That's some Mahdi's, that cool little bait that I got out of the Mystery Tackle Box this past month. Cool little bait. So uh, beefed it up just a little bit, a little bit bigger profile than that itty bitty little hog shot I was doing, but here's a little yellow perch. Guys, it's a day of dinks. You know, I'm catching fish. Um, I'm out here. It's gorgeous. I'm telling you, this weather, just sun, the wind calmed down. I, I can't get enough of just getting out in the fall. It's beautiful. So regardless of the the tiny fish, I'm having fun. So I'm gonna throw it there and try to have some more fun. Oh, guys, this is what I wanted to do right here. Guys, I put my little Kitek Easy Shiner on the bottom in 30 feet of water. 30 feet of water, guys, and I'm dragging it back to me. Oh, that's what I saw. <laughs> my crappie oh my gosh that's so cool though so it's so fun looking at your depth finder and seeing fish and just knowing the depths throwing a tiny little bait like this little kai tech this thing is tiny i mean it is just a beautiful little bait just an eighth ounce ball head jig and there's a little crappie you just smoked it so that was pretty cool yeah i just threw it back sorry guys i don't have a stringer or anything i probably would have collected a few crappie for dinner if i had a means to bring them home but guys i'm just trying to catch a fish or two that's three species in and that's almost the biggest fish of the day that one bass probably wasn't even as big as that crappie so i'm catching fish today i'm going to show off like i said every fish i catch and how i'm catching them so fall fishing guys it's tricky but it's fun so basically i have schools and schools of all kinds of who knows what's out here i'm in 10 feet of water throwing all the way out to 30 just coming up the slope literally putting that little ball head jig and kitek swim bait on the bottom just creeping with that little paddle tail just super slow kicking spinning rod just 12 pound test braid and a 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader. It's just ultra finesse. It's just a little swim bait. Swim right literally through the little schools of fish. And somebody wants to eat, they're gonna eat it. So that's what happened with that crappie. I'm just hoping for a big bass. But regardless, whatever bites is always fun. And if it helps out to be very, very specific about this bait. Again, this is the Kitek Easy Shiner 4 inch in bluegill flash with a dipped chartreuse tail. Looks just like a little bluegill swimming down there. And that 8 ounce ball head jig, that's actually the Kitek uh, tungsten. So it's an itty bitty little heavy, dense little ball head jig that really zips through the water column, gets down there really fast with really, really light braid. It just zips to the bottom as deep as 30 feet, like I said, and just a creepy crawl across the bottom right in front of their nose. So let's try and get another one. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I hope it's a little better bass. Let's see what I got here. Guys, I got a, I got a big old crappie. Look at the size of this crappie on my drop shot. Holy crap. That is a giant slab crappie, guys. This is a day maker right here. Seriously, look at the size of that crappie on my drop shot. Again, look at this drop shot. That's that, uh, that's that, I don't know what the name of it is anymore. Let me take, it's a Samadhi's bait. It's that Samadhi's bait that I got out of the uh, mystery tackle box. And that just got me a giant look at the size of this thing this thing is a beast let me uh let me get up here and get this drop drop shot down and let you guys take a look at that slab is that amazing i'm seeing all these fish guys i mean the sun is setting it's gorgeous out here it's gonna be dark legit dark by like 5 30 sunsets about 5 10 right now here in maryland and i got myself a big one so this makes the day dink day multi-species day just fall fishing killer right guys I'd love to just take a bite out of him right now, but he's going back. I think next time I go, come out, I'm sincerely going to bring myself a cooler and a stringer because that is uh, what's going on in this lake. This lake's got giant crappie in it. So if these are crappie that I'm seeing in my depth finder, they're legit down 15 to 20 feet. So basically I'm throwing towards the shoreline on a simple little drop and there's just fish all over the depth finder. Let me show you what this looks like. They're just lighting up right now. So there you go. These guys right here, I'm pretty confident I can get this thing going. I'm pretty confident that's what we're looking at right now. That's legit full blown in 19 feet of water. Just a whole bunch of crappie on the bottom. They're liking the drop shot. I got that little spoon. I can still break that little spoon and drop right back down to them, but they're coming and going. The schools are just swimming through. They're coming in and out of the uh, screen right there. So they're never in one place at one time. And that little eighth ounce spoon is so light to get it down 20 feet takes a while. So this drop shot with a quarter ounce lead is a lot quicker to get down. And I still have a shot at getting a little bit bigger bass, uh, which is what I'm after. But I'll take that size crappie any day. That is absolutely a blast.
Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. I can see my little jig. Oh, oh guys, I did it. <laughs> I did it. You guys got to see this. Check this out. I want to show you this. This is great. I hope this guy stays on. I broke out. I had to do it. I broke out the little, uh, oh, it's a good one. Check out the zigzags on that. See those zigzags? That's my little eighth ounce cast master on the first drop. I have the drop shot still in the water and I, I locked into I locked into one of these crappies. Oh, it's another slab and I got him in the belly. He may have spit it out, but look at the size of this crappie, guys. Oh my gosh, I should have brought a stringer. So yeah, they're down there. I saw that fish come right up and sweep at my little cast master this itty bitty little silver spoon guys if you're out bass fishing and things get a little boring and you want to catch a couple fish and it's this time of year i strongly recommend you get yourself a little ultralight setup get yourself some itty bitty four to two to four pound test line and i'm telling you guys can just look down on a depth finder if you have one if not get into some standing timber whatever it takes just drop straight down and you'll end up getting a couple little crappie like this and if you're smart and smarter than me, you might have a stringer with you so you can actually take some of those beauties home. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a little meatier fish. He's not quite as big, but he's got some meat on him. So let's play. I'm going to go ahead and throw this cast master down there right on top of all these fish and see if I can catch a couple more. All right, guys, I got the cast master down there. See it zinging up and down and now I'm right into those fish again. So I've got some attention. I'm right down 15 to 20 feet of water and there's my little zigzagging little cast master spoon all i'm doing is jigging it straight up and down let it flutter back down on top of the fish there he is oh i had one. Oh, is he still on there oh i think he's on there guys let me get this fish there he is it's a little one i think i don't think it's very big oh we got no is he still on what have we got here oh my gosh guys how could this happen look at this thing it is absolutely dude this is probably the tiniest crappie i've ever caught this is crazy i just caught the tiniest little fish ever guys seriously look how look how little that is i can't even hold it by the lip so yeah that's what's going on you saw him down there on the depth finder in time basically zigzagging that little cast master spoon up and down on this ultralight setup let me get back down there see if i can catch one of those bigger ones that must have just been a little baby hanging with the mamas down there so just a little bit of video game fishing just the same way you can play with your drop shots and look down at the bass you know these crappies are schooling up like this in the fall and, and they're not easy they're not hard to catch is what i'm trying to say you just keep an eye on that depth finder and even if you don't have a depth finder guys just get just get an area where you maybe see a bunch of other guys fishing there's probably just a bunch of crappie in the area and here we go i'm already looking at some fish coming back on the screen so i'm just doing my best to keep the cast master off the bottom just a hair and just above the fish so i keep it just above the fish they're going to come up and look at it and they're going to get curious here they come here they come. Let's see what happens. Right below my transducer. My transducer is attached to the to the trolling motor. So I'm going right down on top of their heads. Let me get down a little lower. Let that thing sink. There we go. Right on the bottom and off the bottom. Two turns. All right. I could not let you all see that beautiful sunset behind me. That's what I'm dealing with, guys. The sun's going down. It's absolutely amazing. There's crappie all over my screen i know there's probably a few bass mixed in but i got the cast master in my hand i'm going to one more little hole one more spot by some standing timber there's one stick that sticks up out here in the middle lake going back towards the ramp but i know what's underneath it is a whole bunch more wood and it's in some deep water right around 20 feet so there should be some more crappie down there i've locked into some pretty big bass on these little spoons uh jigging up some crappie so you never know what'll happen i'm gonna look at my depth finder try and catch a couple more of these crappie for fun and then we're going to call it a night. So stay tuned. Let's see if we can catch one more. So I just peel off line. I count about a foot, foot and a half per pull. And I got fish down 10 to 20 feet. So I'm right around the 10 to 15 mark. I'm just above a bunch of fish right now. So let's just see if any of these guys want to eat this cast master. Hopefully it'll be a little bigger than that last one. That's what I'm looking at, guys. All kinds of schools of crappie down there, just loaded, anywhere between 10 and 20 feet. So as they thicken up on the screen, and as they get closer to my cast master, there's got to be one in that group that wants to eat. So let's stay on it and see what happens. Eventually, somebody's going to suck it in. I just got a bet right there. Drop in the school, flutter down. I'm thicking them right now, guys. There he is. There he is. 
awesome that feels like a little bit better fish let's see yeah he's definitely a better fish wow killer guys this is my sign out fish if he stays on this is a beautiful beautiful crappie just like i saw him guys i could i could stay here all night and load up on these things if i had a stringer i would be in great shape but folks again this is a fantastic routine if you're really struggling this time of year for catching all those uh bass that are just making it difficult break out a little cast master itty bit of little spoon get down on some standing timber just get in front of some fish and throw down you guys can hopefully get something to bite your line so folks as always I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out.